this is Teacher Edwin from Paul Eight again. We are going to be talking about the importance of like keeping your own journal with your kids. Okay, so here we have a little girl, and she's K three right now, and wonderful, wonderful job in writing. So let's 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 see what she's writing about. Okay, first of all, I love the cover page. Thank you. Okay, all right. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your first journal there? Yeah, you can talk about it. Today. Yeah. On Saturday, yeah. I went to orchestra. Okay, thank you. So, what are you writing about? So, this is your daily life. So, you're keeping, you're telling everybody what's what you do every day, right? Good. And how long was this ago? This is in the summertime. This is July. That's this is when we she started writing with me, and uh, uh, simple wordings, great uh, concept, no problems. But there are no punctuations in the whole paragraph. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, so she was a little bit confused about uh, commas and full stops. Okay, but that's okay. It's a good start, right? So that's why I did uh, the two big ones up here. All right, and then on we go to um, let's see here to July. A little bit more. Great job. Uh, this is a common one. Me and my mother. It's always my mother and I. Okay, so go with those ones. Capitalization is very important for kids as well. Uh, great writing still. Okay, let's move a little bit quicker. Oh, this is a simple uh, one. Uh, great spelling. Space Museum. Okay, and this is about uh, August, uh, August. That's right. Okay, what did I write here? Too much then. Yeah, that's a big one. Then I did this. Then I do that. Then I do that. Okay, so that's why for the next journal we said no more thens, and she, she did it absolutely great. It's no more thens. Okay, a lot of full stops and periods and mistakes as well. So we keep working on that. A lot of the K3P ones are doing the same thing. Okay, now um, this is a very complicated uh, um, issue here with tens. I usually get the kids just to write in present tense. Uh, for the starts because pra uh, past tense is a little bit more difficult. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. The tenses are crazy in English, obviously. So uh, usually we just get them to start with present tense, okay? But soon when they're ready, we introduce uh, past tense as soon as we can, okay? So this is a little spacing here. Yes. Would you like to say something? Yeah. So this is in uh, January now. Oh, oh no, sorry, October. She's doing great as well. Look at all these writings she's keeping track of. Okay. It, do you read these when you're done? Like, do you take it out and read it? Sometimes. Did you? Sometimes. Do you, yeah. Do you find it funny? Sometimes. Some, yesterday. Yeah. I I read some of my pages. Cool. It's funny, right? When you read your own journal, right? Okay. The questions for Santa Claus. This must be Christmas. Yes, December fourteenth. Okay. So on we go to January. Now, as you can see, she's writing more and more and more. Look at that. Beautiful. More and more and more. So this is in August, uh, February, February, and let's look at today's work. Okay, and this is today's work. Good, right here. Two pages. Wow. Okay, March 10th. Okay, 2017, and this is her second page. And yeah, that's it for her journal. But as you can tell, keeping a journal is very important for them to keep writing more. It doesn't take it, it takes practice to write more and and to be confident uh, to be a confident writer. So make sure you keep your uh, well. You make sure you uh, keep a journal with your kids. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing your journal with us. Okay. Would you like to say anything to everyone? <laughs> no. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.